Hi guys. So today's video is going to be another book haul. This one is separate from the birthday book haul that I recently did because my birthday book haul was with books I got for my birthday or I bought with birthday gift card money and these books are books that I got from my local used bookstores. I'm gonna start with a book that I got from my local used bookstore called Bookman's. If you're ever in Arizona, that's the one that takes in like all sorts of stuff and they're awesome. And I had somebody recommend the book Among Thieves by Douglas Hewlett because I mentioned in a video of tropes that I like that I like the kind of like street rat or rags to riches type tropes and I was told that this one's got a good amount of that and it's got a good amount of political intrigue so I found it at my local used bookstore in pretty good condition for four bucks and I had store credit. The next book I got is one of the Dresden Files books and it would be Proven Guilty by Jim Butcher. I really really love this series. I've only read the first three. I need to read more because there's a lot in the series and I've heard that it keeps getting better and better but I actually already owned this book but I owned it in the wrong size. Most of my my Jim Butcher books I own in this size and then I actually bought this one in a smaller size. So I'm gonna take that one back and I found this one for really cheap. The next book I got is part of the Parasol Protectorate series. My friend Jashana over at Jashana C, you guys should totally check out her channel, but she recommended the series to me. She said it's so much fun and she loves it. And when I mentioned the first one, in a different book haul, you guys all said the same exact thing. And normally I try not to buy sequels to books when I haven't read the first one, but I was like, everybody's telling me that this series is great and it sounds like a lot of fun, so I'm gonna go for it. I took a chance. Moving on to books I got at different used bookstores. The next book is one that I've had my eye on. I've not really seen too many people talk about it, but it kind of has like necromancy type feel to it. And that would be The Bone Witch by Rin Chupeco. I originally had put this on my list for books that I was wanting for my birthday and I told my husband, I was like, wait, let me go run to the used bookstore and see if I can find any of the books on my list so that somebody doesn't pay full price when I could have got it, gotten it for cheaper. And sure enough, they had this for $5 and I had store credit there too, so I didn't spend anything. The next book I got, I got at a different used bookstore. It's called Half Price Books. Everything is already half priced and then we had a coupon where you get 40% off of a book. So I got the book Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Dow for hardly anything. This is a Snow White retelling and it takes place in an Eastern Asian inspired world and I think that that sounds really, really cool. The last two books were sent to me. They were sent to my PO box and the first of the two is a self-published book. And for any of you that are wanting to send me your self-published books, you don't have to email me and ask. I always have my PO box listed in the description bar down below so you can just send it. This particular book is by Ashley M. Jackson. It's called The Zine and Tech Archives and she sent me an email with some more of an in-depth synopsis of it and it says it's a sci-fi dystopian fantasy novel following a young and cheeky hero as he navigates his way through his war-torn world. It goes on to say that while he is well aware that he was created to liberate their world from the clutches of Lord Salem, he doesn't realize just how far the corruption goes and how he ties in. Along the way, he finds allies who, for one reason or another, decide to help him along their path. Their destinies are all intertwined and their futures are uncertain. And lastly, I could not believe it when I got this in my P.O. box. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, okay, there's a little bit of a backstory to this, but you guys know I love the Witcher series. I love it a lot. I have it in those editions. I have some like random other editions I found at my local used bookstores. And then I have my pretty Polish editions, and believe me, I plan to get more. But with the American editions, I vent fairly often about the fact that for some reason they originally released the first book short and then the second book tall and then the first of the actual series short and then the rest tall and it didn't make any sense and they finally started reprinting them all in the same sizes so you can get the very first one in the right size but the first of the series <laughs> um you can only get in the right size if you buy a box set of the first three in the series. Like not the whole series, the first three in the series. And I vented about it in a video recently and I'm like, what were they thinking? And I was just like going off about it. And somebody left me this note. She said, you convinced me to read The Witcher, so now we're even. Besides, no one should have to suffer through books being different sizes. Also, don't feel bad about only keeping Blood of Elves from Nicole E. And she bought me the box set that the book comes in so that I can have them all in the right size. I think the moral of this story is that complaining gets you stuff. I am 
totally kidding, of course, but I could not believe that she did that. She sent it to me on my birthday, so I don't know if she meant to send it as a birthday gift or if it just happened to be around that same time, but Nicole E, you are so nice. I got in the box, it says that I can send her a thank you, and I'm totally gonna send her a thank you because that was so incredibly generous. Anyway, that is it for my book haul. Let me know what you guys think if you're interested in reading any of these books, if you have read any of these books, which ones you think sound the best. But anyway, if you liked the video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the little bell icon to get notified when I post new videos, and check out some more of my videos right over here. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.